Hi. I want to talk about why I'm basically becoming a Disport Zeomin doctor and um, I'd have to say just about abandoning Botox. Uh, it's sort of very interesting. It's kind of good ultimately for you, the consumer. Uh, basically, for a long time, Botox, which is a botulinum toxin type A made by Allergan, was the only product around. It was the only thing we could use to relax muscles. Over here, an off-label in the forehead, crow's feet, gummy smile, and other things. Great product. Um, the problem is they monopolized, well, I don't want to say that. They, they were the only people on the market, and prices kept rising and rising. Uh, then came Dysport. Dysport is, again, botulinum toxin type A. It's just a very slightly different molecule that has a couple of what's generally advantages. It starts to work a couple days sooner or a few days sooner than Botox. Um, and it also spreads a little bit better. So in areas like the forehead and the crow's feet where you have a lot of lines, it's good to have a product that has a bigger halo that spreads more. So then you need less dots and there's less chance of, of little pieces of muscle uh, working in the middle of a, of a field that's quiet. So I started using a lot of Dysport. The other great thing about Dysport was that the people that made it lowered their price tremendously so that I could better convince you to switch from Botox to Dysport. And that was very successful, but now as things go, Dysport, the company that makes it, also makes Restylane, was bought out by another huge company, so they're raising prices. Anyway, I think it's still a superior product in most areas, meaning the forehead and the crow's feet. In most people's glabella, it's what I use. On someone like me with a low brow, the fact that it spreads more, if you remember what I said before, could increase to the, the chances that it would go to the eyelid and create a droopy eyelid. So therefore, on somebody like me with a low brow, you've got to use something other than Dysport if you want to be ultra careful. So then it would always be Botox. But now we have Zeomin. Zeomin is made by the company that makes Radius. It is identical. Again, it's a botulinum toxin type A. What's unique about it is that it has no proteins associated with it. Dysport does, Botox does, this stuff has none, which could make it theoretically more pure for someone who might have an allergy. But in terms of its spreading ability, it's identical to Botox. So what I'm doing these days is using Dysport here and here, generally Dysport here, but in somebody with a low brow like me, I'm going to now be using Zeomin. It has one-to-one -one potency compared to, to Botox, and again, I'm happy to say and happy to work with a company that creates an equivalent or superior product, but sells it to us at a better price. So that's why I'm becoming a Dysport and Zeomin doctor. Thank you.